I'm Pastor George Borkart, and this is another Higher Things video short. A reason that you don't expect for why bad things happen to you. That's the subject of today's Higher Things video short. Like, subscribe, ring the bell, get the app, donate. If you love what we're doing in Higher Things, pass it on the faith to the next generation. Like our videos, subscribe to our YouTube channel, ring the bell for notifications, get the app. It's available on all the platforms. And donate. Your tax-deductible gift keeps Higher Things, a youth organization all about passing the faith to the next generation. Keeps us uh, rolling. And our kids need this gospel in these dark times. Fridays, I like to look at something that happened over the course of the week in Bible study, and I want to take a look at John chapter 9, a man born blind, verse 2. They brought, they, they, they brought to him a man blind out of birth, and the disciples asked him, uh, Rabbi, who sinned, this guy or his parents, so that he was born blind? And this is a question that we all have asked concerning something. What bad thing did we do to cause the bad thing that happened to us? Um, we all know the religion we're born with, where good things happen to good people and bad things happen to bad people. Let's listen to Jesus, though, give us another reason. Jesus answered and said, It was not this man who sinned or his parents but so that the work of God would epiphany or would, would be displayed, would show itself in him. Um, and this is a thing that we never think about. We think we, when bad things happen to us, we blame the devil, we blame the world, we blame sin. And we never think to ourselves that bad things may happen to us in order that God might be shown in our lives. That God is sitting on the edge of his seat going, then they will know that I am the Lord when I bring them through the land, the, the wilderness into Egypt. When I bring them out of Egypt and out of bondage to slavery, then they will know that I'm the Lord when I bring them through cancer, when, I, when I, I, I bring to an end their barrenness, when I, I show them how I'm with them, even in their loneliness and despair, then they will know, and then the works of God will be seen in their lives. See, we always think that bad things happen to bad people and good things happen to good people, and if we're not having good things happen to us, then we must be doing bad things. And that is not the way the Christian faith works. The Christian faith, yes, evil happens due to sin, but God can take that evil and take that sin and work good for it. Um, in the life of Joseph, you meant it for evil. God meant it for good. Um, in the life of, Nath uh, of da David, the good that happened from David being repented by Nathan. Um, and, and the best example of all, the good that comes from the cross. The cross, which is the most hated, terrible thing, shameful. Cursed is anyone who dies on a tree, and God works good. Salvation for you and me from that. And so what I would love for you to sort of contemplate today is that God took this man born blind and used his life, John 9, to show us the Father and to show us a son who heals him. And also that God does these things in your life to show you how he's God and how he brings you through them and also that you might be a light for others. They watch you go through your sickness and they are uplifted and they believe and they see God in your life. So, Bible class, it's still 2 p.m. every single solitary weekday and the highlight from that this week is this, that God works good from evil in your life and that God had this man born blind come to G or, or have Jesus come to him so that we could see, so that he could see, so that we all could be blessed with and gifted with God's working in his life. Think about that. Think about that the next time something bad happens. I'm Pastor George Barkhart from the bunker. The church office is closed. 
um, for repairs. And this has been another Higher Things video short.